Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today, we're testing out another bit of kit because I am a glutton for punishment and I like testing gear, especially camera equipment. So ever since I bought the Sony ZV-1 with the vlogger handle on it, which I'm using to record this video, if I showed you the stack of boxes it's on, you'd laugh, but I won't. What I will show you is this. This, my friends, is the Ulanzi MT-16. Yeah, a little bit of contrast there. I don't need it for autofocus, thank you very much, but I do need it for the contrast. Anyway, this is a selfie stick. The ZV-1, out of the box, does great. However, comma, it crops in too far when you have steady shot on. But I found that I need steady shot because my hands aren't steady enough. Go figure. Anyway, I was on the lookout for anything that would help me out. And what I found was this. So first, let's unbox it, then let's talk about it. And I've been using it for like a month, so I'm gonna show you some of my tests of it. It's gonna be a fun one. Thanks for joining me tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. So now you've seen it unboxed. What did it come with? It came with this, this bad boy. This is the cell phone holder. It doesn't hold my phone particularly well. If I line it up, it seems to be stretching pretty far. So it does fit, it holds It holds on pretty good, okay? It, it, it will work. I still prefer the metal Ulanzi one that I use, but this one will work in a pinch. It also tries to take the case off the phone when you remove it. So you gotta make sure the case is back on. <laughs> anyway, that's not the big one. This is, this thing is cool. Obviously it extends. It's got a ball end. You can loosen it, rotate it all the way around. It has a cold shoe. See the cold shoe there? Bam, love it. And then the piece de resistance. Yes. It has a tripod and look at that. If I can get it in focus, it's got rubber feet. Yeah, plus it's got this neat design here, but it's got rubber feet. So it'll stick somewhere, not stick stick, but it'll stay somewhere if you set it down. You will have to be wary of this. This, ladies and gentlemen, as I continue to be hoarse, um, this does stick down and does hit the ground or the table or the desk. So be wary of that. But beyond that, it has a good solid grip. Again, this outer portion is also rubberized. So you can get a good solid grip on it, which I like. And let's take a look at some of the results I've gotten before I kind of give my thoughts on it. This is on the vlogger handle, Steadicam active. My arm is outstretched straight, as you can see. And that's uh, that's the picture that you get. So now we still have steady shot active, but we're on the Ulanzi MT-16, fully extended at a slightly lower angle because it's a little bit easier. And this is still the picture you get. If I go all the way out, yeah, that's quite outstretched. 
Thanks to the ball head mount, I can rotate it. And then this is pretty much level arm, as you can see, and I am just outstretched straight. And this is the picture you get. So as you can see with steady shot on and arm fully outstretched and this outstretched with whatever angle I wanted to get like that, which is pretty quick, right? It'll hold the ZV-1 or any other camera that takes a tripod adapter. See that? It's a tripod adapter. Dum -ba -da -dum, in the light. Hopefully that's in focus. Anyway, any quarter thread tripod, it, it'll hook up to any of those cameras, which is pretty cool. You don't have to use it for a ZV-1. It's not ZV-1 specific, let me be clear. But it works great for that. And it allows you to get a wider field of view without spending 70 or or $100 on one of those stick-on wide-angle kits. Now, about the wide-angle kit for the ZV-1, let me... I did a lot of research. I was gonna say, let me expound upon that, but I did a ton of research on this thing and they're great. They do a great job of widening out the field of view. However, comma, they're stick on. So they're subject to humidity and heat and wear and tear. And for this bad boy, and of course I'm pointing at it like you can see it, there's a motor that drives the lens in and out and you don't wanna put extra strain on that it could wear out that motor earlier than it should. So I don't recommend that, but I do recommend this. It is plastic. It's mostly plastic. I have a microphone here. Did you see that? It's a Rode Wireless Go. Great system, love it. Did a video on that, but this is plastic. And then there's a little bit of metal, obviously in the thread, um, but it's mostly plastic and rubber. So I wouldn't like mount it on my bike. Not that there's a great way to do that, but just be wary, it is plastic. So, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. This thing was only like $24. The ball feels metal or it's plastic, but it's painted red. It's a neat red, yeah. It, it stands out, right? That's pretty cool. And the cold shoe is neat if you want to mount your microphone to it or if you have the cell phone holder so if you screwed your cell phone on here and then you wanted to put a mic on here that had a, ran a cable, it can go in the cold shoe like a Rode. If you had a Rode to your phone adapter, it is a very versatile tool. I have used it for a number of shots, mostly in the field, but I also recorded a couple of videos where the Sony ZV-1, which is recording this, was sitting on my desk and it allows me to get to the perfect eye level height blocking me. How about over here? Hey, that's better. But it does allow you to get the right height, which is important for me because, uh, yeah, uh, as I look up here, you can see the softbox light reflecting in my eyeglasses. But if I actually look at the camera, now that reflection is gone. So if I look up, you see it. If I look straight, you don't see it. This will get you right to the perfect height. I'm gonna set it on the desk. You can see it's a little bit tall. Just adjust it down a little bit and it blocks my face and goes into focus. I love it, what a great thing. And that's about the height that the ZV-1 is at right now. So this is just in front of it. Boop. And now it's in focus. And now it's out of focus. And now it's in focus. And now it's out of focus. Something else I don't really like about it because nothing's perfect is the vlogger handle has photo and video buttons and that's good especially when I'm walking around my bike, taking pictures, I've got the vlogger handle with the camera on it, and I'm going click, 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 click. Works great for that. The Ulanzi does not have those. There's no Bluetooth, there's no battery, there's no connection to the phone. So you kind of have to hold it to push the button or turn it on to record and then walk around and vlog and stuff. That's a minor inconvenience. If you're doing photos or Really, if I'm doing photos, taking photos, I'm gonna be carrying the vlogger handle and I'm pointing to it again like you can see it. But I'm gonna take the vlogger handle and this with me because I can use this for my vlogging shots. And then for the photos, I can swap to the vlogger handle really quick because just like the vlogger handle, this has the neat little spinny deal to tighten down the screw. Go figure. The other thing that I'm not really keen on is earlier I mentioned steady shot being on. With this outstretched, the slightest movement of your hand means big movement over here. It's, it's physics. 
I are a scientist, but it's physics. So with this, I tried it and I was not happy with the results. Vlogging with this fully extended, I liked the field of view, but I didn't like that it was herky-jerky. So what I recommend is to leave steady shot on or whatever camera stabilization you have, leave it on. And that way you get the best picture and a little bit of field of view. So let's wrap this one up. At $24 and with the cold shoe and the ball mount and the fancy spinny deal and the tripod and being able to extend, would I recommend this? Yes, I would recommend it. Would I say it's your only selfie stick? If you have a vlogger handle, I'm gonna say keep that with you as well, but it still beats the new ear or whatever brand the uh, stick on wide angle lens thing is. I haven't used one. I really shouldn't recommend or not recommend it, but I personally will not be putting one on my camera because I don't want to put extra strain on the drive motor because who knows, I put enough strain on my gear as it is. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick review and unboxing of the Ulanzi MT-16 selfie stick. It's a good bit of kit. If you wanna buy one, again, I will leave links in the video description below so you can go buy one. It's an affiliate link, so you'd be helping out the channel too. And until next time, I hope you're having a great day. Go out and get creative. Sometimes you don't have to spend a lot of money to get good kit for your camera gear. So anyway, until next time, there's a video of mine that YouTube recommends you watch. So you should go watch that now. Bye.